Yeah, hello. Hi, how you doing, Pleasure. Jeff? Pleasure. Make yourself at home. Uh, Jeff, everybody, everybody, Jeff. Hello, hello. You feeling strong today? I was born strong. All right, good answer. <laughs> Hey, have you guys been watching the other contestants back there, or do we keep you sequestered? We're sequestered. We All right, don't... you're going in cold then. All right, I now, love it. you know the way this works. I'm going to give you 30 seconds mm -hmm. to explain to the audience who you are and what your food is. Then I'm going to get you in the kitchen, and we'll set the clock again at three minutes. You Great. clear? Perfect. Okay, this is Jeff, everybody. Go. Hi, folks. My name is Jeff Morrow from Elmwood Park, Illinois, it's about a block west of the great city of Chicago, Illinois. I am the sandwich king, all right? My goal in life is to take, teach you the fundamentals of cooking through sandwich artistry, showcasing every country, culture, continent's version of the sandwich, all right? Too many people eat their sandwiches from fast food joints, all right? I want to bring it home, show you that everybody loves a sandwich and that you can make any sandwich into a meal and any meal into a fantastic sandwich. Yeah! A sandwich and we sandwich into a meal. Yes. Yes. You love it, right? Heck, you should run for president with that. <laughs> Do All right, now we have got the clock set at three minutes. We've got the audience spinning around on their lazy Susan. Are you people ready? Yeah! Jeff, you ready? I'm born ready. Born ready. Kill it. This is Jeff. All right, folks, what we're doing is a spin on pork chops and applesauce. We're going to flip it around and turn it into a sandwich. And this meal will be a sandwich, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're starting out with here, I got it searing right on this beautiful, heavy cast uh, uh, pan right there. And we want to get a good sear. We don't want to move it too much, right? Mm -hmm. So when that's done, you get it both on both edges. We want to take this out, let it rest for a little bit. And do we all know what this is on the bottom here, folks? We got a question here, ma'am. What is it? Hi, how are you? I'm great. Um, um, my question is about braising. Braising can take a long time. Do you have mm -hmm. any shortcuts that maybe I can take? Besides a pressure cooker, that's a great question, which can be a little tricky to use, yeah. right? Uh -huh. uh, you want to use uh, just time. You know, other shortcuts is have your stuff ready to go, your stock mm -hmm. that you're going to braise with. Have it hot, you know? Mm -hmm. So you're not Good waiting tip. for something to simmer up, all right? Perfect. Does so it make sense? Beautiful. So Two this minutes. fine, beautiful. Two, Two minutes. minutes. So we're going to take some chopped onions, get that going. We're going to add a little salt, layers of right. flavors, folks, layers of flavors, right? Right, the drippings, right, chef? Yep. Yes, Nats. What do we know what this is called, folks, at the bottom of the pan? Repeat it after me. Fond. Fond. Fond, right? But we're going to call it tasty, super awesome bits, right? Because we don't speak French. You speak That's French? That's right. No, I no. speak fondue. <laughs> fondue, right? Or fondant, depends. That's right. It's then a we're do take, here. It's a do here. We're going to take some hard cider, right? Nice. We're going to glaze with that and some fresh apple cider. Uh-oh. You want to take that? Huh? Sure. <laughs> take a why sip. Not? I won't do it. I'm almost 21. <laughs> almost there. Beautiful. So we got this going. We're going to put the a pork chop. under a minute 30, chef. We're going to cover it, right? We want to simmer it gently. Do never boil when you braise. That's right. You just want to simmer very gently, okay? Good tips. Beautiful. So next, uh, here we have our finished pork chop. We're going to pull it out. We're using bone-in pork chops here, right? Mm -hmm. All that flavor from the chop, all that flavor from the bone soaks in your braising liquid. Mm. Plus, we're going to serve this on the side because my beautiful wife at home, Sarah, and my son, Lorenzo, who I haven't seen in a while, I can't wait to hug you. About a minute. My son, this is the greatest lollipop for a kid. That's right. Just make Delicious. sure they're old enough so they don't yeah. choke on it. Right? So we're going to debone it, right? We're going to build the sandwich here, kids. We got beautifully toasted bread. Toast your buns. Toast it always with nice oil, maybe mm. a little butter. Some uh, gorgonzola dolce. Nice. Spreads it on nice and thick. Yeah. And Not just any pickles, sriracha spicy infused pickles. Hot for a little pickles. Hot pickles, baby. Hot pickles. We're going to throw that on there. We got our delicious, huh? Look at that. Nice little mayonnaise, some good Dijon mustard, a little agave nectar. Little dressing. Boom, we're going to. Nice. So you don't need a mayonnaise. You don't, you, everything's on there. We're going to build it up nice. Got some dried cherries in there. We're going to serve some sweet potato chips. We'll, we'll hit Beautiful. that next, next time you have me on, Rachel. We'll talk about crunch. how to make those. Beautiful. So at the end of the day, Eight, this is a little seven, more perfect. Six, five, Bon appetito. Four, three, I love you all. Five, five, five.